everybody. Welcome to Larry's Fountain Pens Review. So, today I want to thank a special person for sending me a very special fountain pen for review as well. A special thank you to Stephen Chris from Grifos Pens. So, these pins are made by hand in Italy. Beautiful, stunning, remarkable craftsmanship goes into these fountain pens. A lot of detail is done for these fountain pens. It takes a lot of patience when you're making these pens. And before that, a lot of thought comes into play first. The design of the pins that you want it, how you want it. It's all really important to put this pin together. Then comes the heart of the pin, which is the nib. Because like I said a thousand billion times before, it doesn't matter how stunning a fountain pen look if the nib's not any good. At least that's my opinion. So Stephen, thank you so much for sending me this pen. Stunning fountain pen. So, a little bit about this fountain pen. And then I'm going to show you the pen. I'm going to do it uh, kind of like all over the place because that's like who I am. The name of this fountain pen is the Water Buffalo Horn. And the size nibs that come in that you can order is a broad, extra fine, fine, and a medium. And this is from the uh, Elias X Alio collection. So, let me show you the cap. And Mr. Announcer did the honor. It's from the, says. Uh, it has written on it AD 1003, and it's got a couple of griffins, I believe. All right. It's a cardboard box. So now I'm going to remove the cover. And there's nothing inside, but what's in here matters. Stunning, isn't it? Yes, it is. It is truly a stunning fountain pen. So, the pen and grip section is made of solid sterling silver. Look at that beautiful cap. Look at those swirls going through there. Beautiful stunning cap. And the clip, it's firm, but not so firm that it won't go hook up on your shirt as easy as one, two, three. And it's secure to your shirt. So let's go up this beautiful sterling silver cap and the finial. It's in gold. And then all the trim works in gold, plated. And as we go down, a nice, beautiful gold, wide, thick band section with the name on it. Again, Mr. Announcer, it is the name of... AD 1003. And the name of the collection is... Elias X Alio. Yeah, and that's what's on here. And it does say, Made in Italy. And it has a little bird head on top. And, let's go down this amazing barrel. Just look at that. This barrel, again, is Buffalo Horn. Beautiful. What do you think about it, Mr. Announcer? Uh, I love the look of it, and I really like the uh, cap, the way it has the swirling pattern and the texture to it. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Uh, you know, the, the cap, the sterling silver cap with the gold trim, 
in this beautiful buffalo horn uh, barrel is just absolutely breathtaking. It truly is. If you're really a pin enthusiast, you got to check this out. It'll blow you away. Gorgeous. So, let's go ahead and move the barrel. And here is the sterling silver grip section. As you go down the barrel, there's not much of a step off, nothing sharp, and then you'll see where the cap screws onto the section. And it's going to be a nice enough section for any type, size of fingers. And you're not going to slide down this section at all because the way it's made, it's not going to slide. It's not chrome, okay? So, big difference. And then you'll find another gold ring right below that section. And then you're going to come to this beautiful nib. It is a Bach nib. And uh, it is a fine nib. It's a Bach number six nib with a fine point. Now, I am going to... I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's unscrew the barrel. And comes with a converter. Pull out and push in. And I have some dime mine blue velvet in there. So, I am going to let Mr. Announcer read the note that Stephen sent. The pen I've sent for review is made of solid sterling silver and buffalo horn. The cap and section so show off our artisan's skill at guilloche engraving, sorry if that's not correct, done by hand on a line engraver that belonged to Parker Pen Company in the 1930s. The twist engraving pattern is quite difficult to do and is inspired by the architect Gaudi. The nib is a box number six in five point. Beautiful. So the weight of the pen is 39.7 G's on it. It's a nice pen. It's not light. It's not heavy. I think it's just right there. Just a really a fine writing instrument. And the length of the pen closed is 5.65 inches. Does it post? No, it does not post, and you wouldn't want to post it to ruin this beautiful horn, buffalo horn barrel on it. It's just gorgeous. You don't want to scratch it up, but just for curiosity, watch. And it goes to right about there, so there's no use to trying to force it on there because it's not made to post. And as you go down the barrel, you got some more gold trim there. So gold trim on the bottom of the barrel, the gold trim on top of the finial and clip the wide beautiful band this beautiful sterling silver cap beautiful sterling silver grip and this beautiful buffalo horn is it not it is really a gorgeous fountain pen so like i said about the nib is the heart of the pen, correct? Correct, though. So, we're going to take it for a test drive in a minute, so I want you to bear with me, and we'll be right back. All right, now we're going to do the writing sample. It's going to be in my endless journal that I purchased from Federalist Pens and Paper, and it, of course, has the one and only Tomo River Paper, which is my all-time favorite paper. So here we go. This is the name of the pen. Number six, bought fine nib, okay?
and then we're going to do reverse. Hardly any pressure on it whatsoever. There you have it. Hardly any pressure applied for reverse riding. Down strokes and the cross strokes. Now let's see if we can get any pressure up. Uh, a different line variation. All right, there's the downstroke, and here's with pressure. You get a little bit, but not a lot. So, wet test. Bam, there it is. Okay, I apologize on the ink. It is not Diamond Blue Velvet. It is uh, Parker Quank Black Ink. That's what it is. I apologize. I'm a thousand butterflies apologize. May the sheep on the hills apologize. So, and I do love the Parker Quink Black Ink. Really nice ink as well. It complements this stunning, beautiful fountain pen with an excellent nib. For those that say that Bach nib is uh, too scratchy, too dry for them, or they don't like it for whatever reason, you know, I was that same type of guy many moons ago. I didn't really care for Bach. I said, nah, not going to work. I'm a Jovo guy, which I am. I love Jovo nibs. But I have tried other Bach nibs. And for some weird reason, I took a liking to them. This is by no means scratchy. This is by no means dry nib. It smooth nib with some great ink flow in it and it just writes consistently. I have never yet had a problem with this pen and I have broke it in. It has been totally amazing just the way it handles, the way it writes. And I got to give it to Bach, for, even for those who will maybe not believe me, I'm telling the truth. I'm not going to lie about it. This Bach nib is a stunning Bach nib. I love it. It really is a great fountain pen. Uh, you know, yeah, I love a Bach nib as well now. So I can go either way with a Bach nib or a Joho nib. But remember... We all are different. We all have different opinions, different likes and dislikes. For me, this is a thumbs up. Bam! Right there. And I'm very picky on my pens, uh, especially on the nibs. I'm not going to mislead anybody. Now, you can get these nibs and gold nibs as well. So, if you want to find their website, uh, you might want to Google the Grifos. Yeah, uh, pins, and that's going to pull it up, and you'll be able to see this fountain pen. So this fountain pen costs two hundred and forty dollars. That is not a bad price for this fountain pen. I believe I got that price right. Uh, that's what I saw on the site. Uh, I was expecting like four or five hundred bucks for this pen, but no, two hundred and forty for this amazing fountain pen? How can this be? And they do have gold nibs as well. So you can check that out. Uh, so pen enthusiasts, people that have just got out of the rabbit hole and wanting a nice stunning fountain pen something that they can be proud of and use it at work, use it at school, use it at wherever. 
you're going to get mucho looks on this pen. Once they see you pull out this pen out of your pocket, they're going to say, where did you get that pen at? So, remember, you heard it on Larry's Fountain Pen Review. Water Buffalo Horn Fountain Pen. Amazing. Stunning. And I think affordable. You can't get any more affordable than this. What's your take on this pen, Mr. Announcer? Oh, it's a very, it's a wonderful looking. I like the contrast between the gold and the silver. It's all very ornate. And again, I love that texture, the spiral texture that they have going on. It is really great. Yeah, yeah. And even on the nib, it has the uh, uh, Grifos logo on the nib. Let's see if we can get that zoomed in there. Well, there you have it. Well, I hope you enjoyed the review today. I know I enjoyed making the review for this wonderful fountain pen. And again, to Stephen. Thank you, Stephen, for sending me this pen. I, I'm so humble. I truly appreciate it. With that said, now it's time to go, my friends. Remember, stay safe out there. Don't take any chances. Don't take any risks. Continue doing what you've been doing, social distance, wear your mask. Pretty soon you won't have to, after all the dust has settled. A lot of peace and a lot of love coming your way. Take care, my friends. Until next show. Bye-bye. And before I go, my friend Robbie would like to say something to all you fine groovy Pin fanatics out there, take it away, Robbie! For your convenience, I am monitored to respond to the name Robbie. And... Welcome to Altair Moor, gentlemen. I am to transport you to the residence. And that'll do him. Peace.